Um, but here, before this camera, we actually had no idea how, my, how many pups are in there. So our overall numbers just became a lot better. Increasingly, biologists are using remote cameras to learn more about Montana's wildlife. It allows us to do so much more, and I guess it actually bumps into the, uh, takes care of some of the impossible, what we actually can't do. This is one of the very first remote cameras, invented by fish, wildlife, and park biologists more than 20 years ago to study bears in northwest Montana. Today, these cameras and their uses have evolved. I can pivot it around like this. Last year, Diane Boyd began using remote cameras along the Rocky Mountain front to survey grouse on their breeding grounds. It's a really useful tool. It's cost effective. We can get a lot more information much more quickly in a season than we could ever get with a human on the ground. This cost effective tool allows biologists to gather information that just a few years ago was nearly impossible to attain. It's just like if we took a person and placed them in a spot of interest and told them to sit here for two weeks and record everything that you see. And then we take the next person and go to the next spot and so on and so on. See, where is pretty One of the interesting aspects to these remote cameras is the additional stories they reveal. From a mating dance interrupted to a trail that shows the diversity of Montana's landscape. Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.